Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and today for lunch we're going to a restaurant that specializes in a dish called Masak Lemak Chili Padi, which is a Malaysian coconut milk spicy curry. Uh, but this is not your average version. They make it with smoked duck, and so they have this entire rack of just slow smoking ducks. They chop it up, they make it into a curry. It looks absolutely sensationally incredible. And we're on our way there now. I cannot wait to share lunch and all the food with you in this video right now. It's about 25 kilometers south of the center of Kuala Lumpur uh, in an area called Kajang. Actually, it's a separate city called Kajang. When I was coming on this trip to Malaysia, I reached out on social media to people in Malaysia asking where to eat. And uh, yeah, I okay, can't. Let me just find it on my phone. But Mohammed, he wrote a comment saying, Mark, do visit Itik Salai Mastar, which is for smoked duck in Sungai Kajang. The taste is beyond imagination. You will be planning to stay in Malaysia once you tried it. The food looks unbelievably good and wait till you see their just rack display, their grill loaded with ducks. That was about a 30 minute drive. We got here a little bit early, about 30 minutes before they open and you can already smell the aroma and see the smoke coming from the ducks but it looks like people are already starting to to come early there are a couple guys on motorbikes just waiting ah uh, is it dagging dagging yeah it's unbelievable let me show you the grill situation so the smoked ducks which is what they're really famous for are just hanging up along here the, the, you could just hear them hissing and the, the juice is dripping but the entire grill is just completely loaded. These look like massive steaks. There's catfish, there's chicken. And what's also very interesting, unique about this restaurant is that they are burning all coconut shells. Oh, he just, he's just tossing some in right now. Ah, okay, it's all coconut shells. Oh, catfish. Catfish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh, chop an entire duck just in one swift, hard knife chop. What's unique about this place is, well, first of all, they have smoked duck, which is not that common to find. Uh, but next, they only burn coconut shells, not even the husks, but it's the coconut shells. Uh, so they toss that into the fire, which is an indirect heat. They have the fan blowing on the flame, so that burns the coconut shells, blows the smoke into the grill, uh, which then the smoke comes up onto the beef, onto the duck, onto the chicken, onto the catfish. Uh, so they have a number of different meats, but really, I think everybody comes here for the duck and then well everything else as well. We're going to we're going to try to order everything that they have. They are so friendly to us. Uh, all the ducks and the meat is smoking back here, but then on this side of the kitchen is where they are doing more of the other dishes there. It looks like some of the smoked duck which they are making into curries. Uh, she's mixing in the coconut milk. You can smell the aroma of the curry paste, the spices, the lemongrass. That just is blooming with spice and flavor in that smoky duck. Coconut milk. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Mastar. Mastar. Yeah. Itik Salai Mastar. Yes. That's the name of the restaurant. Itik Salai Mastar. Mastar. Salai Mastar. Memang, memang baik. Betul, betul. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Itik Salai Mastar. Jangan lupa. Sungai Ramal Dalam. <laughs> this is the spot. Marudi memang jod. I got you, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got you, you are on, you are on. I know, I know you. I see you on YouTube. Hey, what's up, man? I am extremely 
extremely glad that we got here 30 minutes early because we got to meet the owners of the restaurant, just hang out, talk with them. They're so friendly. They're so welcoming. And then just to see them finishing up the process. So, I mean, they're still working on the ducks. Uh, they're still chopping up the ducks. They're still preparing everything for the rush. And I think it's still probably 10 or 15 minutes before they open and already there's like 20 or 30 people here just waiting, waiting for them to open. So it's coming very soon. The aromas are almost like too good. Yeah, too good to imagine. The aromas are almost too unbearable. I, I, I can't wait for 10 minutes. You come here often? Uh, at least uh, once a month. The takeaway is over on that side. But if you eat in, eat here, then there's uh, they bring the curries and the smoke, they bring the smoked duck over here and then you just order here and they dish it out for you and then you find a seat. Sort of, sort of like food court style. This station is for the rice and some cucumbers and then there's, there's another station with the smoked catfish and the vegetables. So first I think get some rice. Okay, we'll garnish you up. Thank you. Okay, then you come over to the vegetable station, vegetable garnishing station, like a whole garden full of vegetables. There's okra, there's banana blossom, there's a bunch of leafy vegetables, there's winged bean, there is jenkle, which is one of my favorite things in the world. Uh, so you just kind of grab a plate of mixed vegetable to your liking. Totally. Okay. <laughs> okay, we are sitting down. We got all the food. Unbelievably spectacular. We got, I think we did actually get everything that they offer. Plus, we got the fried chicken, but that's going to be for Micah, who's taking a nap right down. <laughs> so you can see that, yeah, they smoked out the duck, then he just chops it up, then they mix it into the coconut milk and the curry paste, the chili padi, and this just looks sensational. Okay, I'm gonna go for that drumstick. And first thing to do, put this onto the rice. Oh, wow, you can see how that just looks unbelievable. All right. Oh, it's so hot and warm, and oh, the skin, the smokiness, you can just see how just, oh, wow. Even the kaffir lime, you can see the kaffir lime leaves in there as well. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, there's like layers of flavor and layers of taste that you get on your tongue. Oh, and it's, it, it's still coming. Finally, you taste the chili heat at the oh, end. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, that is unbelievable. The duck is so smoky. Yeah. And it almost has, like it's not dry at all. It has this amazing, um, like, I mean, dark meat texture, dark poultry texture to it, but just embedded with smoke. Then you've got the, the you know what happens is because there's so much coconut milk in it, that tames down the spice effort. So at the beginning, it's more like milky. And then after that milkiness, the, the coconut milkiness uh, fades, then you taste the undertone of the lemongrass, the chilies. Oh, what's up, ma'am? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Food is incredible. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> like the creaminess and that spiciness are right behind it. It's so nice. Oh my. Oh yeah, and then the like the herbs in here and the kaffir lime leaves as well. It's just that smokiness. Oh, just get a look close up look at that duck though. You can see the redness. It's it's kind of covered up by the curry, but look at the redness of that smokiness of that duck. Oh wow. Yeah, that skin. That skin, it will just blow your taste buds. The like complexity of flavor with that smokiness and that chili and that curry base, unbelievable. So this is the same smoked beef, those giant steaks that we saw in a coconut milk. And I'm not sure if it's exactly the same blend of spices, but we will find out. I'm gonna try to mix it over onto the other side of the my plate of rice. All right, going for a slice of that steak. I think they are the same, but the beef even has like more of a roasted. Smoky. Yeah, that is a roasted yeah. flavor to it. Like it's just like, oh, man. and the chili like kind of like 
It kind of comes at the end of your bite. It's mind-blowingly good. It's the sweetness that comes from the coconut milk. The lemongrass, the black pepper in there. Yeah, there's like a jerky black pepper flavor. It's like For so sure. smoky, like crisp. That smell, it smells amazing too. Wow. And the beef is actually so lean. You know, the duck has some fattiness to it, the skin. The beef is just completely lean. Just like absorbing all of that flavor and just, wow. Unbelievably good. That's just like, you can understand why there's so many people here, why people were here before. Oh, look at the takeaway line. Okay, also got the catfish. And again, this guy is completely smoked. Look at just how oily and fleshy that meat is. I'm gonna take some of the, I think just taste that catfish first. Be careful of the little bones, but look at that. Look at that, that's beautiful. Catfish is just one of those things that's, it's, it's simple, but just the texture of it is what makes it good. And when you add smoke to it, that just enhances it. But I gotta try that sambal with the next bite. And then put this onto my rice. You do taste the green chilies in there. A little bit spicy, it's very garlicky, and then it has like a sweet tinge to it at the end of your bite. Just everything is incredibly delicious. Because you, you, you could not choose a favorite here. You have to order everything, and they all complement each other. They all go together. It's time to try some of the garnishing herbs. And I'm not totally sure what this one is, but it seems like everybody who comes here gets a couple, a couple um, stalks of this herb. Mmm. It's a little like lemony at the beginning. But then it goes to like a completely green, green like herb taste as you keep on chewing. Oh, it's really good. Kind of like mild. When they dish you your plate of rice, they also give you a little piece of fried, possibly salted fish. Mmm. Yeah, that's extremely salty and very smoky again. Yeah, and you're gonna wanna eat that very sparingly. It's very salty. That's a very salty preserved fish. We almost forgot it was hiding behind the wheat, but beneath the winged bean, uh, but this is the jenkal, which it looks to be lightly steamed. Um, or you can also call it a giant stink bean. I'm gonna dip this into the another sambal, like a tomato onion sambal. Yeah, yeah, that's cooked. Because it almost has like a gummy, starchy texture to it. And then that sambal is more like a sweet tomato, oniony like salsa almost. Everything is so good, but I think, I think I have to give it up for their signature dish, the dish that's on their name, the dish that they're famous for. I think that one is the ultimate, so I'm gonna circle around back to the second bowl of that. Some little duck nuggets, get that onto the rice. There's a leaf that you can see chopped up within the, the dish. At first I thought it was pandan. I don't think it's pandan. I just take it. Oh wow. Okay, that leaf is actually providing a lot of flavor. It has a peppery taste to it and a lemony taste all at the same time. That is actually one of the main flavoring of it. That, 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 you, can, you can tell from tasting that how it really contributes to the overall flavor of that dish. That's just remarkable flavor. It's just unbelievable. It's almost like lemony and celery, -y, celery, -y, like celery. I just guarantee that once you taste this curry sauce, either the beef or the duck, either one, you're gonna want to just drown your rice in it. You're gonna soak your rice. You're gonna just want to absorb and fill your mouth with as much of that curry sauce as you possibly can, maximize each bite. I think that the curry is the same, it's just that the meats are totally different. And they even like provide a different uh, like compound chemical taste balance of each dish. Because the one with beef, you can see it's, it's more like thick with the coconut milk and less oily. Whereas the one with duck, you can see a, a layer of oil, which I think comes from the skin. I don't know, they're both smoky, but like in different ways as well. Just the meats like drastically change the flavor of the curry. That meal went down way too easily. This is really one of those meals where it's not an exaggeration to say you shed some tears 
when you see an empty plate. It really is heartbreaking to see an empty plate here, an empty bowl. Yeah, so I wasn't sure if this was a completely appropriate move, but I did look around and other people were doing the same, dipping their spoon and just taking a whole spoon of the of the sauce. So I think it is, I think it's appropriate. It's a little bit salty when you eat it that way. Yeah, it's pretty salty. But, but it's so good and so much smoke in there. Yeah. That will just blow your taste buds. And that's just gonna, that is gonna be the bite that just stays on my tongue for the rest of the day. Yeah. And in my mind forever. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> yeah right? Awesome. Terima kasih. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was an incredible meal. Everything was good. That was like a, a flavor a blend of spices, the coconut milk, the smoky duck that your tongue will never forget. And you can see this place now, the takeaway line is just stretching like around the corner. The entire eating section table seating is just packed uh, but yeah people come here to enjoy the good food and they're so friendly they're so nice uh, the owners they have a recipe that will uh, just ultimately satisfy your taste buds and this was an amazing place I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who recommended this restaurant especially Mohammed saying that this is a meal that would make me want to stay in Malaysia that is that was completely 100% accurate after a meal like this you are going to want to stay in Malaysia if you had a flight like the same day if I had a flight the same day I would no doubt un uh, without even thinking about it I would cancel my flight or probably just miss my flight without even knowing it when you're in KL it's definitely worth it to make the the trip slightly south of the city to come here to eat the yeah the food is incredibly good thank you so much for watching this video please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave a comment below I'd love to hear from you and if you're not already subscribed click subscribe now and click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish thanks again for watching See you on the next video.